were you there? If the preacher of Ecclesiastes got it right that there is nothing new under the sun, we need to say yes and no to that question. We were not there at Jesus' crucifixion, but we are witnesses to other crucifixions today. Let's look for some connections between then and now through one of the eyewitnesses, a Roman centurion. Perhaps we will hear the familiar song change from Were You There? to We Are Here. Jesus' disciples stood at a distance, the Gospels tell us, just watching. And that is our temptation as well. At bottom, we are afraid to draw near Jesus' cross, guarded by the status quo, a fear of being different and a reluctance to lose any privilege or comfort we have. Sometimes I think today's church has lost track of following Jesus' ministries and has settled for just guarding empty crosses and being complicit in the ongoing crucifixion of the least and lost and lonely in our own families, community, state, nation and world. My hope is in remembering. Remember Eden, a sad day wherein we too often focus on how bad Adam and Eve were, without remembering that God left Eden with them. They were never alone. Remember Cain and Abel and Abel being crucified, a sad day wherein we focus on how bad Cain was without remembering God did not start capital punishment then and there. Remember an unending series of lonely misdeeds and betrayals that continue to this day? These are ours and are not dependent upon blaming someone before us. We have been like the centurion who didn't plot against Jesus or try Jesus or put in the nails or raise the cross, who only stood there while an unjust act was carried out, while an unfairness was allowed to move forward. What eventually shone through to the Roman centurion was Jesus still commending his life into God's hands, into a promise of more life that couldn't yet be seen. That centurion heard enough to do an about face and to forward march into a new way of living. Jesus' life calls us too. Even before Easter, that centurion was transformed, even on Good Friday. We have plenty to call us to risk our life for a common good. All the teachings and healings of Jesus continued to shine through on Crucifixion Day. All of Jesus' living was a background that could not be denied. Even a battle-hardened Roman centurion finally woke up. We're not told what happened next to the centurion, just as we're not told what happened after so many people were touched by Jesus. But imagine for a moment that you could be freed from the inertia of just watching death happen. And again, see life before death. Might we join Jesus in living in solidarity with today's innocents rather than defensively against them? Imagine. I can't help but reflect that across the church, ministers and pastors are tried by their people for loving people forbidden by the church to be loved people of different sexualities and gender recognitions. Today, this Good Friday in the lands of the cross and across the divide in the lands of the crescent, there are people being crucified on the basis of being different. And we know difference happens in so many different ways. But the big crucifiers are on one side, impotent poverty of one kind or another, and on the other side, 
privileged entitlement of one justification or another. If we have seen God with us and Jesus' life as the backdrop behind his death and heard the centurion's change of perspective, then we may be able to hear a call from the cross coming to us again today. It's found in the fourth verse of the hymn, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross, where the whole realm of nature mine, which it isn't, false choice, that were a present far too small, too small because it isn't ours to give. Love so amazing, so divine, love of God, neighbour, self, one another, enemies, demands my soul, my life, my all. Join the centurion, invest our soul, life and all. May this Good Friday not find us watching from a distance, not guarding people away from Jesus, not protecting an institution, but reconnected with an expansive and expanding love that energises our soul, our life, our all.